He's starting to really tear it up a little bit more, especially in like the Sova area. Yeah, so. he did have a little bit of a down period, I would say. Um, probably in late 2017, early 2018, but he's been doing a lot of good stuff. I saw him uh, take a set off Bash and um, got like top three at the grind the other day. So nice. definitely showing up again. But Zerum, of course, you know, he's not like the main name you think of, but he's up there with like all the all the best players of the region, like Dexter, like Siegel. Like you fear Zerum just about as much. He's a sleeper killer of MDVA. He yeah. doesn't come through as much. He's not like at Xanadu in general all that much. But whenever he comes through, I have never seen him make it out of top eight. Yeah. Like he is always there. Okay, Ooh, this could be Minix, big. Though. Nah. Yeah, that was a good catch. I love how he's actually just challenging yeah. those no jump. Uh, PK Thunders. Yeah, no fear at all. And that's a stock. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Beautifully done by Minix. That was just a perfect edge guard. Yeah. Perfectly executed. And normally, I don't like Bayo taunts, but like you earned that one, dude. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, that was just. Oh, but. <laughs> it's alright. Right. You're going to have to tech. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all that momentum. Yeah. <laughs> just halted by that little blue ball. All right. But nonetheless, a good pickup for Zerum to take the stock. And that's going to be a big grab conversion off the forward air. No. That platform is a little bit further over. He would have been dead. Yeah. And that's with that fixed knockback on the forward throw. Mm -hmm. All right. A good jump conversion into the... No? Oh. <laughs> okay. And just resets the situation. You're yeah. still up in the air. A good trump. Oh, That's that was OD. Wow. That was, that so, was OD. That was so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he had enough space to make that lock work. It's especially cool because he, he, the only reason he went at that angle was because he actually angled the PK Thunder to go underneath Bayonetta and then hit her from the bottom. Yeah, such wow. tricky maneuvering. <laughs> yeah, that was just such a good setup. So one one amazing edge guard got, uh, got shown up by another. <laughs> yeah. All right, so game one to Minix. And we're going to town and city. All right, not Minix. That went to zero. Yeah. And I guess he's looking for, like, you know, what every bay is looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, roof combo. And I like how he's uh, comboing his normals together. Like, normally that's the thing that you see Bayo's a little bit weaker at. Yeah. But uh, Minix is making it work very well for him. He's just not getting the right hits of his Wish Twist and his um, ABKs. Yeah. Ness definitely with his uh, size and weight and floatiness is just going to be a little oh. bit hard to uh, combo with. If Minix didn't get hit by that Ooh. PK Thunder, that's a stock. No. Died. Ooh, good SDI. Right, there should be a bit of lag. No, yeah. Minix is going yeah. straight into another up B. Yeah, getting that Witch Twist out just in time. And that's the second time he's uh, he's Witch Witch Times out of the PK Fire and. So I'm just going to get punished for that attempt to follow it into the PK Thunder 2. Yeah, a little bit overzealous. If he had just gone straight into it, it yeah. might not have um, you know, got, been that bad of a punish. But just more data for the next time. Right, good catch. Tricky Nair off that. I don't that. believe he has a jump. Ooh, okay. Not going to catch the air dodge there. Dang. So much damage. Wow. And almost kills him off the uh, shotgun from the yeah. rage. Good STI out. Gonna cover himself with the up air though. Bayonetta just with so many options. Just when you think she's she's done, she's just like, nah, still gotta look out for this. Yeah, just when you think she's done, nah, Bayonetta 3 is coming out. Can never forget, <laughs> she's never finished. What's left for her to fight? Like, she fought heaven and hell already. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, she'll have like a crossover with Pokemon. She'll go into the distortion world. Maybe you just fight everything. But in the meantime, <laughs> in between time, Zeram's going to be um, clearing up that first stock. He's at 110% rage. But Ness likes rage a bit, too. So Yeah. Yeah, that might kill around now, actually. Yeah. And that's kind of like something I've noticed Zeram is like kind of uh, made his signature thing is like the, the PK Thunder to like place him into the ground. And he uses it as a bait to uh, get people to like run in with like a tech chase option. Mm hmm. That's not getting a punish yeah, from that, though. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be stuck. 
Yeah, bad angle from Zero on him, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. It looks like he was about to be right over that little lip, but I guess he just gets nicked enough to sent or get sent straight down. Yeah, with no jump, too, that's that's just game. Yeah, bad news, Bears. But nonetheless, has the counter pick. Looks like he already knows where he's going. Goes straight into the match. And we're going to Battlefield. We're going to Bayonetta's best stages. So, Minix also, um, like, it's always been said there's, like, different, like, archetypes of Bayonetta. Uh, like, you got, like, the campy Bayas, the super aggro Bayas. He's definitely back in the day was known to be, like, one of the campiest Bayas in the region. Almost so. to his own, like, uh, problem. Like, he used to give away leads from that. Yeah. Too. But nonetheless, I definitely feel like of the top Bayos to compare him to, Salem would be the best one. And this is definitely not where you want to take a, a Bayonetta like that. Kind of known to just make it really hard for any opponent that's going to play her here. Oh, no. And now the is Wish Time's coming out. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a stock. stock. Yeah. Oh, that's so rough. And trying to trying to get uh, Zerum in some bad spirits. But I don't know. I feel like he is a well-composed player. So I don't think that's going to, like... Shake him too much, but definitely has to make something happen here. Oh, didn't wait out the fourth hit. That was 14% off only the last hit. <laughs> yeah, it does so much damage. All right, good back air. Yeah, I'm showing a little bit of disrespect, which he needs right now, because if you keep on playing respectful, Minix can just keep on doing this. That's and that might be it. Oh, uh, no. no. Okay, not not quite high enough percent. So I pick Battlefield. Mm. Guys are chasing each other all the way down, but Zero I'm not getting the end of the exchange that he needs, and now Minix is walking out of range, throwing yeah. him back off. It's looking rough. Yeah, definitely making Zero look desperate, which I mean, kind of has to be here. Yeah, not Minix can just afford to play patience. Throw yeah, off those pretty back much. airs, not take any risks. Back throw from Ness should kill from almost anywhere on stage, but if you just keep on back airing, I don't think Ness has the range to uh, grab that. Yeah, and. Saves him. Oh, that. Jeez. I mean, you save him like three times there, and you just. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> like, you saved him three uh, times, and then, and like, then he just dropped like, down nope. hit with a PK Thunder. <laughs> oh, doesn't matter. Yeah, so many awkward wow. moments. So that was just super dominant to uh, Minix there. After game one went to Zerum, just cleaned it up. Like